Hi everybody, this is Big Mama. I wanted to make a small little video of a flip through for a little tiny journal that I made. And the reason why I made it was there's a lady who replied to one of my questions that I had in my steampunk journal. I could not remember the term flip-flop and said if anybody remembered what it was called please let me know in the comments and i had one person do that and i thought well that's pretty special so i'm going to go ahead and make her something and send to her i kept with the steampunk idea and she really really likes steampunk so i went ahead and made this for her what i did was i get these things in the mail it's called junk mail i consider it to be crafting supplies from people who don't even know how much I need it. So U.S. Cellular sent me one of these, which is a trifold, but I had another thing from a college from a grandson that was um, had four folds, and I thought, well, that'd be really, really neat to turn into a journal. So what I also did was I had um, Lady Vagabond papers from Stamperia and so I used those in this journal because she really liked it and um, I tear my pages apart my paper apart so that I can use both sides because I can never figure out which side I want so what I did was like a piece of paper like this that's double-sided I take and tear it apart to where it's real real thin and I can use both sides then and glue it down to some of the inked up and dyed pieces of paper. This is uh, one of the large index cards that my friend Susan Taylor Brown sent me and you'll see some more of those in the journal that she had sent. I just love them. They're beautiful. So without further ado, let me introduce you to this little uh, journal. It is not a tall and skinny one like a traveler journal, and it is not a simple one like the um, commonplace journals. So I just call it a junk journal. I think that's what we are making junk journals. So I use some of the background paper that is in the Lady Vagabond and tore it apart and when I take it apart sometimes there are little itty bitty holes which doesn't bother me at all and what I did was I took a glue stick and some old dictionary page you rub the glue stick on rub the paper on top give it a little bit of a heat with the heat gun or let it dry for a few minutes and then you rip the page off and when you tear it off you end up with a really neat way that it just does the edges and everything then I go back over it with ink and then what I closed it with is some sari silk that I ran through the inks that I was using uh, this says inspire and I did a little label up here that says journey and when I put this on the journal I did two eyelets and ran it through and then on the opposite side I did a little bit of fabric tack to hold that in place so it won't move through there and that way when she's journaling it'll she's not going to have to find out where that went I also on all of the seams I use some of my sheet I had a old sheet it's not yellowed by anything other than yellow onion skins I'm just wanted to clarify that when I pick this up, I go, oh no, I hope they realize I did this on purpose. This wasn't an accident. And so anyway, just take the, and dye them, and I throw them over in a bag, and then the pieces that I need, I just rip. And so that's what's on the edges here. I also, when I sewed in the signature, I used a copper thread, a copper colored thread, and then at the top here where I had tied it, I untwisted the thread, and so that gave me six strands, a uh, very, very thin, to where I could put these seed beads on there. 
to the to give it some pretty and then here's the back again I just went ahead even though there may not have been holes here I just wanted to make sure that I carried this all the way through to where you don't know where my accidents were and um, <laughs> it looks like I did it on purpose so here we go inside I had bought some of this plastic that it was with Stamperia and it was clear with the printing on it and so I used the alcohol inks on the back side of it so that the front won't smudge or anything uh, if you drop some alcohol on it <laughs> and so uh, I put the alcohol ink on the opposite side to make it look really old and stained and then uh, put a, my tag in here let me sit this down for a minute so the tag I made has a journaling spot I have some old ledgers and so this is some old ledger paper that I put on here and I have also made a tag that sticks inside there and it has with the Stamperia they had these pop out fussy cut little thing like the clock and the sayings and so I added all of that on there and some washi tape and some rubber stamping because you just can't do enough of any of that and then I put my first signature I because this had the four folds I <laughs> hope you can see me in here well you may want to just see the journal so peekaboo <laughs> so anyway here is you open it up and here is my journaling part of it and I had stenciled on there using a stencil from Stamperia that went with uh, the steampunk theme and so all of my pages have some stenciling little bits here and there and so I use a lot of old vintage papers. I uh, coffee dyed and inked these pages. I like that crinkly page. And trying to see what I, it's not so much you go see me, but I want to see what you see so I can tell you about it. And some more coffee dyed. And then what I did in here is I had uh, and I hope that you can see on each page I tried to do just a little bit of stenciling for the steampunk and then here on this one I did the lined paper but I was practicing with my sprays and so I probably would have thrown this away a normal person would have but I went ahead and put her in here because I thought well I, actually the colors weren't really good together so I just left it in there and then I got really crazy on this page and thought, well, I'll put it in the center. And then this is the other side of that notebook page. And I made a pocket. And in the pocket, downtown, there is a place that they were getting rid of. Uh, down in the bottom, there's a furnace. And they had taken in. That's where they would burn old documents and papers and stuff. And in... Um, the 40s they did away with doing that in this furnace and so there was a bunch of things on the top that had not been burnt and so in some of that were these actual faux no this is real <laughs> stained up but it doesn't smell like smoke and so i've got these that uh, maximum protection at minimum cost and so I thought, well, I will send her some real ephemera that has been really stained up by actual heat and smoke. And so then you can see I made, um, <coughs> with Dear Julie Julie, we, on the project with the steampunk, I had made my faux washi tape. And so here is some of the faux washi tape that I used. This is from a uh, scrapbooking paper and so I it has rows and rows of this and so I just ran the 
double-sided tape across it and cut it out so that I would have washi on the edge. And so those are the pages. And then some more of the Stamperia. And then the greeting card here is where I took the layers of the greeting card and I took off the the backing of it to make it really thin so I wouldn't add bulk. Then just ripped it apart so that it would spread across the page and add some more washi on the edge. And on all of my seams, I have the, the cotton sheeting. Also on the inside of the page where I've got the paper over it on the inside here so that I didn't add the bulk, but I wanted to add uh, strength, I used the surgical tape. And so did that on the inside of it so that the only way it's gonna have it come apart is if she is just really mad and gives it a good rip. And knowing who it's going to, I don't think it's gonna have it come apart anytime soon. So then here's the inside and I told you I used, oh my gosh, look at that glare. So there's Lady Vagabond. And what I did here, <laughs> it's upside down. <laughs> I'm going to fix that right now, okay? But right now, we'll just pretend like you didn't notice any of that. And I didn't say anything. So I have a lot of these. And Julie had used some in her last challenge. And I thought, oh my gosh, i got a pile of these sitting over there that I have not used. And so they are where you can take photos and slide them in there. And so it's open on both ends. And so I cut it apart and took on each of them. I put washi on it and then sewed the washi so that it would stay because sometimes washi has a tendency to pull up. But then I was also able to use the washi to hold that on. And so each one has got the washi on it that's holding it on there. And as you can see, the back side of it, I used those stained cards that Susan Taylor Brown had made. And it's really neat because the cards can come out, you can write on them, but you can also see on both sides of them with that clear plastic. And I honestly, I have so many things that I have stashed over here on my stash wall and I couldn't throw it away, especially if you've got a stash of something in bulk, like I've got maybe 50 of these little pages. <laughs> can't throw that away because there might be something you can do with it someday and guess what someday came and then I have this little guy here in case she wants to write about him or somebody else with a handlebar mustache like my daddy and uh, tell a good story about that or how time is so precious that you have to put a crown on it and this is just a fake number and then in the mail, we have a tendency, all of us, to get junk mail cards that, you know, this has got $7 off if I go in a certain time, which was July the 11th of last year, and get my oil changed. And as you can see, it's intact and it's still here, so I probably didn't do that. But this is something that I did use to fold in half and make a little itty bitty notebook using up my scraps of paper and just making a little notebook here for her. And I ran some uh, masking tape that I had inked up, ran it along the edge on both the inside and outside. And on the inside, I covered it up so you don't see the tape and tied that in, made a little booklet for her. And, well, gosh, it's got two pockets there on that one and a flippy flappy there that is not a flip flop, but a flip up. And there's my pages. I'll close this up. 
I like to have it closed over the journal so that it protects the... Oh, I was destroying it. It wasn't protecting anything just then. And there it is. So I'm going to throw that in the mail. And after she receives it, this will be posted. And you guys will be going, oh, she got it, she got it. Yes, she got it. Unless Pony Express stole it. Not that they don't. I'm just saying, if they know what's in it, she may not receive it. So, um, I didn't tell anybody I was going to be doing anything special for answering my question. Because I really didn't know I was going to do anything special until the last minute. I just thought it was so neat that somebody paid attention to something I said and actually answered my question and helped me out because my brain was completely froze up on what in the world is that called and it's a flip-flop I love flip-flops and I could not think of that at all so on a serious note <laughs> or not thank you for watching this bye-bye